So phase two of training. And as we've said, this starts to get harder now. And with it getting harder, what I found is a lot of the people who you thought would definitely pass training, when you looked around on like the first day and there was big, strong guys and all these guys who you would have put money on would pass first time. A lot have left now. A lot have, have got injured or have, have been back trooped. And you can take a lot of confidence from this because you're still there. And if you had, had, had put a bet on on the first day about who would pass and who would fail, not many people would, would probably win that bet because a lot of people that you thought don't make it through. Now, phase two, the exercises get longer and you start doing a lot more troop level stuff. So phase one's a bit more section level. So working in teams of four to eight uh, and, and now it becomes troop level. So using three or four sections of eight, the exercises get bigger, the budget gets bigger, and everything that, that, you start, that you're starting to learn becomes a lot more complex, but the weapons get better. So rather than just your normal SAAC rifle, you are now moving up to sort of GPMG, LMG, everything like this, and all of the good stuff that you want to get hands on. And with the exercises becoming better, they are getting harder too. You do a lot more yomping, a lot more carrying the heavy weight, the long distances over Dartmoor, over wherever you go. Now, in particular, a couple of standout exercises for me along this phase were the final two. It was called Violent Entry and Final Exercise back then. And Violent Entry for us was so bad because the weather was horrendous. And I know everyone says the weather was bad for them, but it was bad. <laughs> it was really bad. Um, you were yomping up a hill and the wind was blowing people over because the wind would catch their their Bergens and they would blow over. It was snowing, it was raining, everything all, all at once. But when you get into the later stages of training, I think these things become not as bad as if it was in the first few weeks because you, you've had loads of it by now and you start and you start to get used to it and you're a lot closer to the end goal and you're not really thinking about quitting. So the final exercise is a a culmination of everything that you've learned so far. So big troop attacks, offshore raids on boats. You'll be doing big yomps for hours and hours and hours. The biggest yomps that you've ever done yet with 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 the heaviest kit um, and everything between. So this was the hardest exercise that I did 100%. But because it's your final exercise, the carrot's being dangled. One of these is being dangled. You're not far away now from earning your own Royal Marines Green Beret. Now, the Marines are a lot different to other regiments, other units, and you are not given the beret that you wear for your career at the very start. So when you get to training, you're given a blue beret. It's similar, but just blue with a little red here. And that's to show you are in the early phases of, of Royal Marines training. The Marines believe you have to earn your uh, your green beret it's not given to you and it's the hardest thing you'll ever earn in your whole in your whole life when you get to the later stages of training you are given a cap comforter and it's like a green sort of woolly hat and that means you're in the final phase of training but when you wear this you have to run everywhere around camp anywhere so it's to start getting you used to always running always shuffling building up to that 30 miler and to show that you are at the very end of training and when you're walking around camp and you're in week two, week three, you see people with these and you think, wow, you know, I'll be there one day. And you use it as motivation. And when you see the training team wearing these, that is the ultimate motivation. And you think, I want my own one of those one day. So the whole way through training, you're just thinking, I want to earn one of those. I want to get one. But to get one now, standing in your way are the final four commando tests. 